So it's interesting. We've done a, a, a colleagues of mine and I have done a number of studies, kind of looking at different organizations, right? And looking at organizations how they motivate talent, and then looking at specific managers, right? And how they actually motivate talent. And what's interesting, there are differences among organizations, right? Some organizations have the you know the systems and processes in place and um, to motivate the people kind of that work for them like much much better than others, right? But what's interesting that within the same organization, the variance among managers is huge, right? within the same company, right? So you and me, right, can be just across the hall, you have an office on the left, I have an office on the right, right? And the difference in kind of our managerial capabilities or how we actually engage and motivate our people would be huge, right? And um, there is kind of, a, there is a number of things that, uh, that, uh, that goes into, I mean, and for example, one of the things that we kind of pick up in our research is that, you know, we find that, uh, um, kind of the, the, the skill of uh, giving feedback, right, of actually kind of like assessing performance, managing performance subordinates, right, actually clearing, you know, kind of setting up clear goals, thinking about business plans, right, and then developing people over the year, right, and actually giving them honest feedback at the, at the end, right, and doing it all with like, you know, with transparency, right, and good judgment. I mean, for example, I mean, on that dimension, there is huge variance, right? No manager wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to have six difficult conversations today, right? <laughs> In fact, I mean, we know that most managers try to avoid it, right? And, um, you know, it's, uh, and on the, on the other side, I mean, looking at stars, right? And kind of having kind of interviews pe with people who made it, many of them, when they look back and say, some of the most important uh, times in their careers, right? When they feel like they really changed their trajectory of development, when they had those type of conversations. When a client or a manager basically told them, you know what, you're not living up to your potential, mm -hmm. right? Or this project could have been done much, much better if you would have done X, Y, Z, consulted somebody else and this and that. And, um, you know, one is we find that for many employees, those conversations are absent, right? In many cases, right, people can go years before they actually kind of receive some kind of good feedback, right? And, um, you know, so that would be one of the factors, for example, that we uh, uh, find that differentiates somebody who is actually kind of doing a relatively good job in managing people and somebody who is not. And there is many more.